Hello brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today I wanted to make a video today and share a dream I had um, this morning. So I'm going to start with the dream and then share a short testimony I had that happened a few minutes ago. So this dream is called a tsunami dream. It was a powerful tsunami dream. And so here I go. So in the dream, um, I was in this beach. And I think it was in South Carolina. I think it was in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, that's that's where I live at. And um, I think it was Folly Beach. I'm not quite sure. It was it was either Myrtle Beach or Folly Beach. It looked like Folly Beach. And so in the dream, I was... Um, where was I? I think I was at the beach part. And um, I was I was at the water part, and I was about to go in the water, and then all of a sudden it was it was this, this was nighttime, and then all of a sudden I heard a voice. I think it was God's voice. He said, "A tsunami is coming." And so that's when, that's when um, I looked in the background, and I see this huge tsunami. It was coming fast, and um, everybody I said, "Everybody, tsunami is coming! Tsunami is coming!" Everybody looked, and we started running towards the building. We started running towards the building part, and now uh, we got we got to the building. We you know I ran all the way upstairs to like the third floor. It was a big giant apartment back at the back of us, and now uh, we ran inside the we ran inside the apartment, and we and we um we just got in there, and we stood there and look at and, and I looked outside, and I see the tsunami had crashed over everyone, it just just killed everyone, and the tsunami didn't reach the, the tsunami didn't reach the buildings. But it just crashed towards the wall part. And then that's when um, God spoke to me again. And um, he said that a flood was coming too. And then the water started rising all the way up from the ground level. And so we started running. I started running all the way up to, up to the top of the building. And I, got to, and I got to the top of the building where the water just stopped. It was it was like a, a short. It was like a, like a. How can I explain it? Almost like the ocean floor almost. Uh, but um. But yeah, you know, I looked out there and um, I said, this is God's judgment. I told everybody, this is God's judgment. Everybody started crying and he couldn't believe it. And in his dream, Jesus, Jesus has not appeared yet because I said, Jesus, Jesus hasn't even come yet. And so I believe that this, we might see this before Jesus comes. Okay. So that's when I looked down. I saw all the boats turn over people. There are bodies on the, on the water. People, I saw people going to help people out because because some people were stuck under the boats and stuff. You know, just, just a bunch of people just stuck, just stuck everywhere. And um, I was just I was just crying. It was just it was this girl next to me. Um, she was writing down what was happening, and then you know I was just telling her that you know Jesus is just sad and that God is very God is you know. I felt so much emotion in that dream. I felt like Jesus was very, very sad. But um, but yeah, I woke up from that dream, and I was like, "Wow, that was an intense dream." I had this dream six o'clock in the six o'clock, almost like six seventeen, I think. Um, I, I'm not I'm not quite sure. But I had a short. I'm gonna share a little a short testimony. Um, this is definitely Jesus. Jesus healed me. Um, I woke up this morning at eight o'clock. I had this severe headache, like a, a severe, severe headache, like to the point where I couldn't remember anything. Like it was just so much pain, like sharp, almost like sharp knives. I'm, I'm about to get check, I'll get that checked out. But um, I prayed, you know, to the Holy Spirit. I asked Jesus to please heal me uh, from this headache, because 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 I couldn't even think. I couldn't really think of anything. But as soon as I prayed about that, the headache just, I felt this peace and um, it went away. And so I was like, wow, Jesus is a healer. And um, he is sure is a healer. He is a healer, healer. He heals everything. But um, that's a little short testimony. And, um, you know, brothers and sisters, you know, time is short. And um, the 17th, you know, through I don't know how long, you know, the presidential, I forgot what's called. When Trump, when Trump become president, you know, it's, it's Friday. And so, um, you know, we have to be watchful. We have to keep our eyes open because there will be riots and there possibly could be martial law. And um, I'm not setting any dates, but I know for a fact Jesus is truly coming. He's at the door and judgment is here. You know, we're so close and um, we have to be ready at all times. Um, we have to be ready in Jesus' name. 
because Jesus is coming back. And um, let's stay always in prayer. Let's keep praying for brothers and sisters. Let's keep our focus on Jesus. Let's keep our prayers towards him. You know, just don't, you know, just don't go to man. You know, go to Jesus because Jesus Christ has all the answers. That's why I haven't really been on YouTube that much. You know, I look at YouTube videos, but I don't really click on the videos. I just look at the description and the comments and stuff. You know, and, um, you know, it's just, I can't really watch that much videos. Um, I have to be, you know, because some things, you know, you have to pray about. But um, I love that very much in Jesus' name. And um, please be ready. Please keep your garments clean. Please keep your oil filled. Please be a wise version. For the day of the terrible day of the Lord is, is here and is at hand. I love y'all very much in Jesus' name. And um, I love y'all. God bless.